Hi, I'm Jeet from Espresso Tech Sales and Service. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on the Rocket Chilto Evolution V2, but it's just an overall video showing you how to steam milk on a rocket, and some tips and tricks, how to get better milk. Uh, so, first things first, you have the steam wand, all of them are on the left-hand side. Uh, a couple things that always, always, always purge uh, the steam first. You never want to just go ahead and start submerging in your milk right away. It's just bound to be condensation if it's been sitting there for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it'll build up. And so, always want to give it a quick crack into that water. You don't want that water to be going in your milk, it dilutes it. So, yeah, uh, there's various different frothing pitchers. There's your straight-sided ones, which you want to then have the pitcher on an angle to swirl the milk. Um, but I'm going to be using uh, the Espro pitcher actually here. It's got a special base on it, so when you steam, I'll be steaming pretty much straight. You'll be hitting the separated base and auto swirling itself. But the key thing is you want to have that mix milk blending and swirling while you're frothing it. Um, and if the tip is basically submerged in the milk, you're just going to heat it up. So you're just going to get hot milk. If you bring the milk right down to the surface of the tip, you'll be hearing a light hiss, and that's when the microfoam is created. And you want to have the milk swirling so it blends it into a paint-like mixture. And then if you have it just above the surface, that's when you hear the louder uh, frothing. And that's for the thicker foam for cappuccinos and macchiatos or really nice hot chocolates. So those are kind of the three stages of milk again. Uh, hot milk, and then microfoam, and then just at the surface you get macro foam. So I'm going to go ahead and steam it. Uh, you have variable steam control on almost all the rockets, so that what that means is that if I open it up a little bit, you get a low, low steam, and then while you increase it, it increases the intensity itself. So I can go ahead and control the actual intensity of the steam. So I'm going to go ahead and froth the milk right here. So since it's been purged out, I can go ahead and just submerge the tip. And I'm going to go ahead and froth it. So open it up slowly. I'm just going to bring it back to the surface. Touching the side of the pitcher, I can feel when it's a little too hot. And right about now, it reaches the temperature I want. So I'm going to submerge it and close it off. Now it's pretty short, you know, that wasn't a huge duration of time because I did have the steam on blast. Um, but again, larger volumes of milk will take longer periods of time. And when you're done, always, always, always wipe down steam wand and do a quick purge. Keeps your tip clean, prevents the steam wand from soaking up any milk. Uh, but just like that, you have your frothed milk. And a couple things is that if you smack it down, it helps alleviate bigger bubbles. If you hit it down really hard, it separates the milk. So if you do hit it down on your counter pretty hard, you want to go ahead and swirl it around to blend it. And to get rid of those bigger bubbles, just gently tap it against the counter to get rid of those bigger bubbles. And just by doing that, you can hopefully remove most of those big bubbles and just get a nice paint like mixture. So that's kind of that frothing 101, kind of giving the basics on how to froth with the rockets. It's quite a powerful machine, so doing smaller quantities a bit harder so you might want to try different steam one tips rocket has the steam one collection so give that a shot and see which one kind of fits your frothing style but frothing milk literally is just something that you just have to do a hundred times um, to get the hang of it uh, and then that way you can be pulling out rosettas every time so thanks for checking out our video don't forget to like and subscribe and as always stay tuned for the next one